one of the common problems that we find is a leak. If you have aspiration issues, you may have a leak in your system, or if you have low nitrogen, you may have a leak in the system. Let's see how we can address the leaks on the front of the K360. The easiest thing to check first is this connection between the sample tube and the splash guard called the bump. The easiest way to do that is grab the tube while it's cold. Don't try a hot tube. Grab the tube while it's cold and twist it. If you can twist it easily like I am right now, that bung needs to be changed. To change it, it's a simple process. Take the tube off, then loosen these screws, take the bracket off, at that point this is accessible so that you can undo this, oh my! That is loose. Ha! <coughs> you undo this nut and you change the bung, put a new bung on, tighten that nicely, and put the system back together. Now the next area that is typically leaking when you're losing nitrogen or if the aspiration isn't working is the nut or the seal between the splash protector and the condenser. This is the seal between the splash protector and the condenser. There is a white Teflon ring that makes that seal inside there. It's quite normal for that to get loose. So you should use this tool from Buki to tighten that condenser the tool part number is 11057779. You can order that from Buki. That tool is built so that you can tighten it very tight without breaking the condenser. As you can see, this is loose. I'm tightening, but I'm not over tightening it. Please do not use pliers on this. The only thing that will result in is breaking this glass connection. So after that is tight, then you can tighten up the bung. And when you put a new bung on the system, you should also change the hypalon, which is located up there. Then when you put your tube on, if everything has been done correctly, you should be able to twist this only if you apply big pressure to twist it. It should be tight now. That way you're not losing nitrogen. 